The main objective of the complete trial was to determine whether routine non-culprit lesion PCI in patients presenting with STEMI and multivessel disease would prevent hard clinical outcomes, including the composite of cardiovascular death or myocardial infarction. Prior trials, which were well conducted, had demonstrated benefits, but mainly on softer endpoints, including revascularization. And to date, no trial really has been large enough to determine the impact of complete revascularization on heart outcomes. So in this multinational trial, 4,000 patients were randomized to receive either routine non-culprit lesion PCI or optimal medical therapy alone, or a culp culprit lesion only strategy. Patients were followed for up to three years. In this trial, 90% of patients achieved complete revascularization. And the primary endpoint, the first co-primary endpoint of cardiovascular death or myocardial infarction was reduced by 26%, and this was highly statistically significant with a p-value of 0.004. The second co-primary endpoint was reduced by about 50%, and this reduction was also highly statistically significant with a p-value of 0.001. The main driver of the reduction in the first co-primary endpoint was a one-third reduction in new myocardial infarction. And both STEMIs as well as non-STEMIs were consistently reduced in the trial, and the majority of MIs that were reduced were type 1 MIs in the study. In terms of safety, there were no safety concerns in the trial. There was no significant increase in bleeding, there was no increase in stent thrombosis, and there was no significant increase in contrast-induced nephropathy overall in the study. So, uh, in summary, COMPLETE is the first randomized trial that has been adequately powered to determine whether routine non-culprit lesion PCI would be a benefit in terms of reducing heart outcomes in patients with STEMI. We demonstrated clearly a reduction in the composite of CV death or MI by 26%, as well as the composite of CV death, MI, or urgent revascularization. If this strategy is adopted globally, it will prevent many thousands of heart attacks on a yearly basis.